This is the most iconic robot from the 80s and he transforms into the coolest thing ever. What's going on everybody? My name is Alvin and welcome to a and If you're first time here, well, go ahead and smash that like button and the subscribe button because we're giving away prizes every month. And what we do here is we talk and review all things cool in the pop culture world. During the 80s and much of the 90s, the Ghetto Blaster, aka Boombox, was the premier option for listening to music with your friends. You see, back in the day, we were allowed to go outside whenever we wanted. On the playground was where I spent most of my days, chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool. Hey, wait a minute. This is the lyrics for French Prince of Bel Air. My bad. Anyways, as I was saying, Sound Blaster was introduced to us, Transformer fans, several years after the show began. He was the Autobots answer to Soundwave. Although Soundwave is hugely popular, I love the bright colors of Sound Blaster. Plus his name was in line with the 80s and 90s culture. So I'll do a little quick walk around the box here. I already have him out here. So this packaging is the Kingdom War of Cybertron packaging. And I'll tell you why I think this is the wrong box and packaging. I don't know why Hasbro did this, but quick walk around here. It is a nice artwork of Sound Blaster here, an updated look. The back shows, you know, some poses and the robot form and in the actual transformation form, plus eject, which we'll go over in a second, the cassette player that comes with him. But your typical box here with the small window at the top here, the peekaboo window, whatever you want to call it. I'm kind of disappointed because I really thought he would be in the 86 studio line because a lot of the other Transformers from the movie and from that generation era was in those packaging. So I thought they were going to put him in there but I guess not they decided to put this guy in here all right here he is out of the package and you know what I absolutely already love this guy because he's just 80s all over the look of this guy they nailed it Hasbro actually nailed the look of this guy for the price point we're getting he's comparable to some of the masterpiece line figures we get that were you know cost hundreds of dollars so for me at the price we're getting this guy I think it's great value a quick look at this guy here I mean, there's not much gaps. One of the problems with the lower end Transformer figures is we get a lot of gaps. The only gap I see is in the back here at the, at the thigh area at the top. But other than that, it's filled in pretty good. There's no side gaps. A lot of the Transformers have the side gaps. And this guy doesn't. He looks full. He looks like a proper robot. And so I, I, I really think they did, they did a great job of making sure to get this guy as close as possible to screen accuracy. Having a quick look at this guy's face. I absolutely love the look. This guy's face is awesome. He's just cool. He's just one of those guys like, eh, whatever, Decepticons, whatever. I don't care. I'm listening to some tunes and having a good time. That's one of the things I love about Sound Blaster. Cool thing about this guy is you press the little tape thing and bam, ejection. Speaking of eject, we got eject coming out. There he is. One of the cool things about this guy is his hand. You can actually kind of detach the hand like that so that he can actually play the button on the cassette player. How cool is that? That he can actually press the button. Those are the things that I look for in a figure. The attention to detail to make the figure actually look really cool and feel cool. One other cool thing is the legs. How cool is that? You got the actual speakers on the legs and you can actually push them out and switch them around if you wanted to. But who doesn't love the speakers the way it looks? like that they're just so badass jazz hands magic jazz hands jazz hands jazz hands ta-da there you go <laughs> all right here he is this is the boom box iconic thing that everybody used to carry around on their shoulders maybe listen to music i absolutely love this this is so cool so nostalgic it is arguably one of the coolest Transformers Hasbro's made in a long time. They made a lot of cool Transformers, but this guy, yeah, he, he's awesome. We press the button and the cassette ejects. Look at that, right? Cool. And this is Eject. And here's Eject out of the cassette player. And uh, yeah, I mean, small little guy, nice little touch. A couple of things that kind of bother me here. One, like I mentioned earlier, he should have been in this Studio Series 86 series. And of all the people that you know they could have added, they only gave Eject. I would have loved to see more 
of the characters more of the cassettes at least two or three of them i think would have been needed in here the price point is a fair price point for him but i would have loved to see uh, an additional cassette with him because i just think one is just not enough and maybe this is what hasbro wants to do is they just want to give us a small sample and then maybe put him in another deluxe box somewhere down the line and make us buy it all over again with the additional cassettes one other thing that i would have loved to see is the actual dials here the knobs i would have liked to see them turn it would have just gave it that extra little you know oomph so if you're wondering do Soundwave's cassettes fit inside blaster yeah they do they fit in a bit beautifully look at that Comparison wise, we have Megatron and then we have Soundwave here. Sound Blaster is bigger than Soundwave. That is bothering me here. I don't know why I really wanted these guys to be the same height. He just looks puny and tiny, but he really isn't. He's actually supposed to be the bigger of the robots. So the fact that he's small is just like, uh, why? Why Hasbro? So hopefully we get another Soundwave down the line that is actually height proportion to Sound Blaster. Maybe in the Studio 86 series, who knows? But yeah, Megatron is actually a bit taller than him, as he should. And here we have Optimus Prime and Ultra Magnus next to Sound Blaster here. And I think they are proportionate to him. Ultra Magnus is obviously big and chunky here. And the height-wise, Optimus is supposed to be slightly taller than him, and which he is here. So I'm okay with the size of these guys compared to Sound Blaster. And here we have RC and Springer with Sound Blaster. I think they look great. These two are supposed to be pretty similar in height and RC is supposed to be a little bit smaller, which she is. So I really like the, the height and proportion to these guys compared to Sound Blaster. Before I give my final take, go ahead and like and subscribe and hit the notification bell because if you're a subscriber to this channel, you have a chance to win a prize every month. All right, with this guy, Hasbro knocked it out of the park. I think they did a great job for the price point that he comes in. Would have loved a couple of changes to this guy to really elevate it. But overall, I'm very happy with this figure. And it's 80s and 90s nostalgia all day long. And if you're a fan of Transformers or if you're a fan of the 80s or if you're born in the 80s, this is something that you definitely should look into because he just looks awesome. And it'll be a great talking piece on wherever you decide to display this guy whether in robot or in the ghetto blaster or boombox form as always thank you for watching have yourself a great day take care bye bye